Hey guys, Happy New Year. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make an easy but yet very delicious guacamole. So let's get cooking, guys. So for this recipe, you will be needing one lime and we are going to be using three ripe avocados and I have a little bit of onion and some um, Roma tomatoes that I chopped up. You can see you can use as many or as little as you want. And I do have some fresh parsley that I'll be chopping up. Um, you can definitely use cilantro instead of parsley, but I happen to have parsley on hand. That's why I'm using parsley. But if you like cilantro instead, you can definitely use that. And of course, you are going to be needing some salt and pepper to taste. Please check the description box where I will list everything I use in this video. So let's get cooking, guys. You want to go ahead and grab your avocado and remove the top part. I already went ahead and um, did this with the two avocados so I just wanted to show you guys exactly what I did and we are going to just twist and we are going to take the knife and remove the pit which we don't need and you want to grab a spoon and just scoop your avocados out okay this is a really easy process avocados are so delicious and so good for you so this is a great way to make sure I eat my avocados even though I do like avocados with pretty much everything every or anything so now you want to make sure you mash the avocados if you have um, like a mashed potato masher you can use that but I am using a fork to do mine so you want to make sure you mash it really nice and smooth before we add anything to our guacamole. Now you want to go ahead and kind of press on your um, lime just to create a little more juice out of it. And we are going to cut it up and squeeze your lime in right away. That way our um, avocado don't turn color because it can get brown really quickly okay and just mix everything in and now you want to go ahead and add in the tomatoes and your onions if you like a little heat you can definitely put a little bit of jalapeno in there that is totally up to you but my um one of my kids really like this as well so i try not to put any heat in there just so he can enjoy it as much as i do so now i'm going to take my parsley again you can use cilantro if you wish some people don't like the smell of cilantro so totally up to you okay if you haven't please go follow me on instagram facebook twitter and also on snapchat so you can see what we are up to on a daily basis on my social media that's where I normally post pictures or anything we are actually doing okay so just rough chopping this really rough nothing crazy okay I love eating this with fried plantains if you haven't tried that please give that a try you will definitely like it if you don't want to eat chips you can um, eat this with fried plantain as well but for us today, we are eating this with some um, Nacho Supreme that I'm going to make. And that video will be available for you guys as soon as I get it done. And now I'm going to add some salt, nothing too crazy, and some black pepper. I always go with less salt, of course, because you can always add a little more if needed. Okay. Just like everything we cook, we are going to taste. Now you can see I need a little more, a little more lime juice in mine. Again, if you want heat, you can add some jalapenos to yours. And I'm going to add a little more salt. Okay, and this is pretty much it. That's all there is to guacamole, that delicious dip that most Mexican or Spanish restaurants have. This is it, guys, okay? 
All right, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share. And as always, if you try this recipe, send me a picture on my social medias. And again, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.